In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome po muli dito sa Basilica. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, foster father of our Lord. Let us pause for a while, acknowledge our sins and failures, and be sorry for them. We are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, and earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, you. We, bless we bless you, we adore you, you. we glorify you, we, glorify you. you. we, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the Father, Father you, take you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You, you take away the sins, sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father, have, have mercy on us. For you, you alone are the, are the Holy One, one. You, you alone are, are the Lord, Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, with the Holy, with the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, and the glory, the glory of God the Father. Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you entrusted to his faithful care. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. The son of David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say of me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my Savior, forever I will maintain my kindness toward you, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world. 
but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Glory to you, word of God, O Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your <clears throat> spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When Mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Ngayon po ay kapistahan ni San Jose. Sino ba naman hindi makakakilala kay San Jose? Kahit mga bata, tanungin mo, sino sa si St. Joseph? The husband of Mary, the foster father of Jesus. Tumpak, no? Walang sinabi sa Bible na ganoon, no? Ang napinakita lang sa Bible, that he was just a righteous and just men. Yun lang ang description sa kanya. Ngunit alam natin na bakit pinaranga, pinarangalan si Jose na nakilala sa lahat as bilang protector of the church, protector of the family. Hindi siya masyadong wala kang nagsulat ng may mga milagros yung ginawa, kung bakit hindi siya ang santo. Ngunit nakita ang tunay na misyon na nagawa niya. Hindi siya masyadong matalino na kailangan tanungin ang Diyos bakit ganyan ang magiging kapalaran niya. Sabagat ang unlike Mary, no? si Mary ito kaharap-harapan yung anghel, kausap niya. No? Yung mensahe ng anghel na siya magiging ng Diyos. Ngunit si Jose ay ba? Sa pamagitan lamang ng panaginip. Kaya sabi natin, ang panaginip po, hindi baliktad ang meaning, no? Kumisan totoo pala. 
Kaya kung ano mang dapat na ginipan ni Jose, ginagawa niya sa kabutihan ni Maria at ng kanyang anak. Hindi nga nabuo yung kwento sa buhay ni San Jose, kung kailan siya namatay, hanggang anong edad. Eh, sa pato lang interesado ng panahon yun, no? Sapagat sa, sabi nga ni, sabi nga ng mga writers ng Bible, hindi lahat nila susulat, nilalagay sa Bible. Ngunit, may mga importante, mahalagang bagay na kahit ang pagdugtong-dugtongin natin ay iyon ang plano ng Diyos. Kaya pasalamat tayo na merong San Jose. Kasi kung minsan nakakarino ko nagdibati, pag si San Jose pang pinili, marami na. Ngayon ako, napakatalino mo naman. Mas patili, matalino ko sa Diyos. Ganun ang plano ng Diyos. Kaya ngayon mga tangayan, kakatangian na yung ni San Jose, ang nagparangal sa kanya. At tinatanggap natin siyang ganun. Kaya naalala ko minsan kapag no active pa kami sa Paris, meron kami tinatawag na canonical investigation. Proseso na bago ikasal yung babae at lalaki, may tinatanong kami, nag-uusisa kami. Kasi sabi ka ng matanda, ang buhay po pa pamilya, hindi totoo yun. Hindi kanin na mainit na pisinubo mo, iluluwa mo. Of course, hindi namin sinasabi, hindi nindiscourage namin yung ay, ayan ang kamaganda. At least, pupunta sa simbahan, may intensyon ng pakasal. Ngunit, nakakatulong kahit na papano yung ginagawa ni simbahan na magtanong. Hindi magusisa, hindi maging marites. Ngunari, tatanong ko yung groom, anong nakursundahan mo? O, oh, ugali, nagandaan ka. Sa iyo magiging asawa. And the same thing to the wife. Ganun yung tatanong sa groom. Eh, yun, nakarinigan. Sabi ko, yun, nakarinigan kayo. Ngunit, ngayon lang yon Kung hindi nyo matatanda itong araw na ito, makakalimutan yon sa pagdaan ng panahon sapagkat napakaraking maraming hamon ang dadaan sa inyo para sirain nyo. Sinabi nyo sa isa't isa ngayon. Totoo yun. Kung minsan kasi tatungan, paano kayo nagkakilala? Textmate po kami. Then, nag-eyeball kami. Love na kami. Ang ganun na ang bang kasimple. Of course, so, sabihin mo, handa na ba taga kayo? Financially? Mag-iisip sila. Ay, andyan naman mo si Mami, so si Papa. Ano ko, hindi. Kaya ngayon, kaya, kaya naiinis ang iba sa simbahan. Ba't kayo mausisa? Hindi, hindi na kami nangusisa. Ginagabayan lang kami in case. Hindi kayo padalos-dalos. Sapagkat sa atin, ang pag-aasawa ay napakasagradong bagay. Hindi yan pinagsasawaan. Darating ang mga panghamon na talagang sisirain niya sa iyo natin sa gusto. Napakaraming tukso, napakaraming problema. And yet, kung hindi kayo matatag, kaya nga importante yung commitment, yung laging in-emphasize ng simbahan, nang sa ganun, eh, maalala nyo. Kaya, hindi na, may sabi, oh, hindi, hindi, hindi kayo pwedeng pakasal. Hindi, wala. Desisyon nyo yan. Tuloy. Kaya ganun. Kaya ganun, siguro ang kung titignan natin mabuti si San Jose, iyon ang katangiyang nakikita sa Bible. Tahimik, ngunit nakikita yung sa kanyang ginagawa. Masunurin sa sinasabi kahit na sa panaginip lamang. Kung ilang ulit na iligtas ni San Jose ang kanyang pamilya sa kamay ni Hero, nung alam nyo, yung di ba, Holy Innocence, si Maria, Kamunting ng batuhin sapagkat nagbuntis, hindi naman siyang asawa. Ngunit lahat na yun ay tinanggap niya sapagkat naintindihan niya yung dapat, mag, da, dapat maganap. Ang maganap na hindi lamang isisilang ang Mesiyas, kundi pagpapatuloy na ang gawain iyon. At isya, isa siya sa mga instrumento ng Diyos. Hindi na pwedeng balikan ng kahapon na baguhin ang istorya. Iyon na nangyari. <laughs> Kaya kami sa nakakatawa ko ang ibang tao, lalo kung, kung magbabasa ka ng mga, mga opinion. Kami siya, tinotoliro natin ang sarili natin. Napakalinaw na, na nasa Bible. Napakalinaw na yung misyon ni San Jose. Bakit pa natin i-question, no? Maganda naman ang kinalabasan, di ba? Sino ba sa ating katoliko nagsabi na, 
Pelior yang kita mana siapa sih? Bilang isang tatai, bilang isang protektor nang familia. Mula, kau mahu sabi kau hukum? Kau mahu dengan isang lagi? Bagaimana jenis isang sih? Hui, DPD, ni reject mau kau? Sa paniniwalan ko nung ginawa ko lang man ang aking misyon na protektahan yung Holy Family, lalo lang lalo na si Maria, para sa inyong lahat, sa kabutihan yung lahat. Sapat, yun talaga naman ang misyon ng, ng anak ng Diyos. Kahit pa sa Old Testament, sinasabi na yun ang pagdating ni Kristo. Kahit na hindi man, sa panahon ni Saul, sabi, sabi ko, ah, hindi siya binigyan ng much attention, later na lang na na pag-isip-isipan ng mga simba, ng simbahan. Sapagat alam naman natin, ano bang ang kahulugan ng bakit tayo lumalapit sa santo? Hindi lamang para humingi ng humingi ng milagro. Ang unang paalala sa atin ng simbahan, gayahin natin ang kanilang buhay as much as possible. You try it, no? Kung si San Jose, kaya bagay naging protector, kitang-kita, no? Ginangawa niya ang lahat sapagkat may dahilan na maganda. Eh, hindi ganun. Kaya kung isang, <laughs> gaya ng tatay ko, no? sabi na may magkakabang, walo po kaming makukulit ng bata pa. Pag nakita namin ang tatay namin, mainit ang ulo, nako, wag na kayong magsalita. Kapag ang tatay namin, madaldal, maingay, tahimi lang kayo. No? <laughs> Kasi, ganun siguro ang paraan, no? Talagang may galit o may ano siya. Pero later on, nawawala yun. Kaya nga, huwag kayo magsakabagat yung, yung asawa yung Bakit? Ang dalal lang ngayon. Ang dami ng kwento. Eh, siguro, part yung ng karakteristik ng mga lalaki. Kaiba sa mga babae. Ang mga babae, madila lang. Ang mananay ko, ang dalalera. Ito mo sa lasan. Parang walang nangyayaw sa palipaligid. No? Ngunit kapag yung lalaki may nakita kang hmm? something iba, yun na. Kaya, kaya nga sabi natin yung mga ang mga tatay haligi, haligi ng simbaan ng pamilya. They just uh, take us their first responsibility in life is to, pro to provide anything to the family. Kaya hanggang kahit na sabi na limitado yung pag-iisip nila. Ngunit, yun ang number one. No? Eh ang mga nanay naman, alam natin, ilaw ng tahanan. Kayo nang bahala kung paano yung gagawin yun. Kaya yun kadalasan ng nakakalimutan natin. Eh, sabi nga nga ng iba, naging palala sa atin, huwag niyong pababayaan ng mga nanay niyo, mga tatay niyo sa kanilang pagtanda. Sa kanila okay lang. Sapat ganun talaga ang buhay. Aalis, mawawala tayo sa mundo. Ngunit, yung nagawa nila, either at sa iba, failure, Ngunit, they try their best. Hanggang doon lang man maabot natin. Pasalamatan natin, sabi nga. Kaya nga kumisang, kumisang, naka, hindi naman po ako nang, nangiinis ng tao. Kapag kumisang, kita may eology na patay, kumisang kabagaan ako pa. Napakaganda ng mga sinasabi nila. Nung hindi na makapagsasali tayo, <laughs> yung nakaburol. Bakit nung... Buhay pa, nakapa, makakapagrahilan pa sila. Hindi yung sinabi. Hindi yun ang dapat na kung may sakit ka ng loob, sabihin nyo na. Well, mo, natatakot ba kayong patawarin ko? Hindi ko pa sila. Hindi. May, may konsensya po tayo. Ano yun ang lagi natin binabali wala. Mga panahon na lumilipas na hindi na natin maring ibalik. Yung po ang number one na katotohanan. Ano mang kahapon, hindi natin pwede balik at baguhin. Ngunit, matututoy na lesson doon at kung may iiwasan, iiwasan. Eh kung may dapat gawin, gagawin. Kaya nga sabi natin yung uh, kung isa nakakatawa, gagawa natin yung mga legacy-legacy. Oo, oh, oh, okay naman yun. Nakikita naman talaga. Ngunit, sa bandang uli, eh po, napaka hindi naman natin tinatanong yung kung gumamatay ng tao, masaya ka ba? Nagampan naman, hindi. Sa halip, pagda, pagdamay. Yun at pinapakita natin na matiwasay yung kanilang iiwan. Yun ang pinakamasarap. As far as I'm concerned, yun ang fulfillment ng isang parents, lalo-lalo na 
sa kanilang katandaan. Alam na nilang kanilang kainaan. Buti kami sa, sa akin, for example, sa aming pamilya, hindi kami dumanas na ang parents namin namatay ng ganong edad. Mga bata pa kami nang nawala. Kaya ganun ang ano namin, feeling namin malamang iba sa binibiyayaan na mga pamilya nanggang sa ngayon ay kasakasama nila ang magulang nila. Kung tanongin yung mga nasa estate, sa abroad, Lolo, dapat ng pahinga na kayo. Matuwi pa kayo sa Pilipinas, tinutulak na kayo sa wheelchair, hirap na hirap na kayo. Yan eh, gusto namin, ma, kahit ang pampano, maramdaman uli ang Pilipinas. Ganun. Kahit masaganang buhay doon, ganun. Ganun lang. Kung, ano, umisan, mabalik, umisan, naghihintay lang dito. Kaya ganun po ang lagi nating ipinapalala sa atin ng sibahan. We are not all perfect. Ngunit ang misyon na ginagawa natin, kung hindi man natin alam, ngunit meron tayong kahit na papanong response na magagawa, ay eh nakakatulong na malaki. Hindi po natin binibilang yung nagawa natin kabutihan dahil gusto lang natin makapasok sa langit. Hindi. Dito sa luba, ang ginagawa natin sapagat panahuna para gampanan natin yung katang mga katangian natin bilang tao. Ano nga, ano, ano ba nga magiging tao? Maka-Diyos, maka-tao, makikapa, lahat lahat ng gano'n, magaganda. Maturo pa yan ng Panginoon. Lahat, lahat, lahat ng reliyon, tinuturo yan. Nang siya gano'n, magi tayong matino. Magi tayong matiwasay. Hindi <laughs> tayo nag-iisa. Ano? Lagi tayong may kadamay. Kaya yun lang laging paalala lamang sa atin. Hindi tayo gustong hunongs. Sino ba sa mga santo ang alam nilang magiging silang santo? Except siguro yung mga naging martyr, yung tinagaang ulo, bago siya namatay. Malalaman siguro, ganito ang pro- proseso si Mat. Ngunit tayong ordinary yung tao, hindi natin alam. Ngunit sabi nga ng Panginoon sa, sa isang part ng gospel, even a glass of water, given to a thirsty person, can be a ticket for you to heaven. Nakasimple, actually, parang, ano man naman ang isang bangsa tubig. Ngunit, yung pagtingin mo sa nauhaw, yun na ang tunay na gawa. Kaya doon niya, doon binabasya ng Diyos. No? Hindi po yung sa quantity, laging sa quality. Sa, sa intention, motivation, hindi sa pagpapakita. Pagpapakita, yung nakikita. No? Kaya yun na lagi natin narinig na palala sa atin. So sana naman yung ganito itong okasyon, kahit si St. Joseph, alam ko, dalawang piyesta niyan, <laughs> namimiss ka namin ngayon sa Isabela, no? March 19, laging piyesta. So, meron pang isa, St. Joseph the Worker, Labor Day, piyesta niya rin sa mga laborers. Napakasaya, no? Sa pagkatalam natin, hindi pinaparangalan yung matatay, masisipag, kundi talagang maluwag sa kaluba natin na tagang nagagampanan yung gawain, yung katungkulan, yung misyon ng bawat isa sa atin habang nandito pa tayo sa lupa. Magsitayo pa tayo. My brothers and sisters, with St. Joseph, the man of great honor and great faith, let us, as a family, present to the Father for all our intentions. After we, its petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the Pilgrim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like St. Joseph, government officials may not fail in their duty to ensure the welfare of their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may live in harmony with each other through mutual trust and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That those who assume the care of the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, lonely, or brokenhearted may be strength strengthened in their endeavors, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the intercession of St. Joseph, those who have died may enjoy God's everlasting peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer our personal petitions and also include the intentions of these months. Heavenly Father, in your providence and through the intercession of St. Joseph, grant what we ask you in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty eternal god and on the solemnity of saint joseph and to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you for this just man was given by you a spouse to the virgin mother of god and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father to us like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the holy spirit our lord jesus christ through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and power tremble before you heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship with exaltation may our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters of fallen as all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Are the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Bear for the elections. Let us pray that the forecoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. 
Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates Bring glory to your loving care and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family he have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them through Christ O Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday, the Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming salamat sa pagdalaw at pakikisa sa itong Santa Misa. Ingat lang po sa pag -uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa simbahan na humihiling, gumaling sa anumang karamdaman o makaiwas sa anumang sagit. Idamay na po na natin yung nasa ating pamamahay, lalo na yung mga senior citizen, napakainit po ng panahon para pumunta sila sa simbahan. Buti lang malive streaming, no? Nakakarating sa kanila. Ngunit iba pa rin yung pagdamay natin. Nakakarating po yun sa kanila. Maniwala kay sa akin. Pinapakinggan yung una ng Diyos na nakakarating sa kanila itong dasal na ito. Salamat po. Let us pray. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. If you have them with you, just bring them out. Huwag na po kayong aalis sa inyong lugar. Lalapit na lang po yung mga magbibless mamaya-mayang konti. Let us pray. 
in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.